cast away the works of darkness, let them go. Turn your eyes to the light. Turn your face to the sun. I'd like to wish all of you a very happy new year. 2021 couldn't come soon enough, could it? So it's a new year and hopefully we welcome it with uh, joy and happiness, uh, trusting that God is walking with us. A week ago, we celebrated the birth of Christ and today, January 1st, we honor the mother of Christ, Mary, and her old, oldest title in the church is Mother of God, the Greek Theotokos. And so we honor Mary who trusted God and brought Christ into the world. 
So let us celebrate Mary and her faith as we join together in our gathering hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And at the beginning of this new year, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the compassion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with the Spirit. So we always gather to give praise to God. So let us join our voices with the angels and saints in the hymn of glory. Let us pray. Holy God, source of light in every age, 
the virgin conceived and bore your son, who is called Wonderful God, Prince of Peace. May her prayer, the gift of a mother's love, be your people's joy through all ages. May her response, born of a humble heart, draw your spirit to rest on your people. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we listen to our ancient scriptures, beginning with the famous blessing of Aaron found in the book of Numbers. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his descendants and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent the Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the Spirit of the Son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. On Christmas morn, now to us a son is given. Praise to God in highest heaven, give glory. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told to them by shepherds. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. And when eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, Alleluia, Alleluia. So there is a custom that takes place on January 1st in many localities around the world, some places here in the United States. I suppose it depends on one's nationality. But on January 1st, the children of these localities are expected to return home and ask their parents for a blessing from their mother and their father. If you're five or 15 or 50 years old, you go home and ask for your parents' blessings on January 1st. And so this invitation is a way to begin the new year uh, with a blessing. We heard that uh, in that first reading. It's certainly the mind of the church that chooses this reading from the book of Numbers every January 1st with a blessing. That as we begin this new year, we ask for God's blessings, but we bless one another. And uh, so that blessing of Aaron is something that you who are parents can pray over your children uh, today or over the weekend. It says, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So there's a lot of powerful imagery in this uh, blessing. So shining one's face on someone is a way of expressing delight in that person. You know how your parents are always taking delight in you, Emma and Franklin? You know, they just can't you know, smile enough at you because you just bring them so much delight in their lives. But the blessing is also saying that God delights in each one of us. Can you image that? That God delights in each one of us and blesses us. So lifting up one's countenance to another person is a way of saying that that look, that gaze, creates a bond. You know how you can just look at somebody from across the room? Uh, Naomi, you may look at this guy sitting next to you. And just that look, he knows that you care about him, that you love him. And so the blessing prayer is that God looks at us the same way. That when God looks at us, there is this bond between you and God, between me and God. And uh, that bond cannot be broken. So the blessing of Aaron is a beautiful blessing, one that we should pray every day. 
So I'd like to say a few things about blessing, what a blessing is and what a blessing is not. So sometimes people have a mechanical or a magical notion of what a blessing is. It's like when people come and ask me to bless their fishing boat and uh, fishing equipment before the opening of fishing season, like they're gonna have good luck, you know, if I bless their stuff. I said, no, you gotta take it to our holier priest. Um, so I, I, you know, I'm asked to bless automobiles and motorcycles and houses, people, the dying. Um, so we bless things like medals and rosaries. And why do we do that? So it's not that the words of blessing make them blessed as if before, if I bless a dying person, that they weren't blessed before this, you know, that's not true. Uh, nor do we believe that a blessing changes God, uh, that God's mind is changed because we ask for a blessing as if the words uh, spoken, uh, if they weren't spoken, God was unwilling or gracious to give us peace. Yeah, blessings don't change God, but you know, what do blessings do? It's a way of saying thank you to God for the gift of this person. So Franklin and Emma, you know, if your parents bless you, they're really giving thanks to God for the gift of the two of you and your fabulous brother, Philip. Um, how can we thank God. And so people have that tradition of blessing their children as a way of saying, I thank God for the gift of you as my daughter, my son in my life. And so if we bless objects, you know, we thank God uh, for God's protection. If we wear a cross or a medal, um, many ways, we, we just are constantly thanking God so a blessing celebrates who we are and what this world is. We believe that creation is good and we believe that we are good. So who are we? Who are we that ask God for a blessing? And Paul tells us in that second reading, you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, also an heir through God. So Paul says, we are children of God. And as you love your children and love them unconditionally and are full of forgiveness, that is how God relates to us. And so we have some bad notions that God only sees what is wrong with us. So it's not the blessing prayer that makes us children of God. It is God who does so. God has chosen us to be his children. So we have already been blessed by the creator and we have been saved and made God's own. We can't do anything other than own it and allow it to help us live our lives. So every time we bless another, we celebrate who we are and remind one another we are truly the children of God. So this is a good way to start 2021. We all need blessings. And uh, during the past nine, 10 months, it's been a challenge. And maybe we have forgotten that we are the children of God and that we have salvation, that we will be saved. So if you're starting the new year full of fear and pessimism, you know, it's a, it's a failure to claim who you are, who I am as a child of God. What should we fear? You know, we use common sense to stay healthy and practice uh, all the things we're told to do to reduce uh, this uh, virus in our lives, but we can't live in fear and pessimism. So have we made mistakes? Of course we have. And have we sinned? I guess so. Uh, but mistakes and sins are not 
who we are in the eyes of God, nor should it be in our own eyes. Have others hurt us or rejected us? Of course, perhaps. But that hurt and rejection does not define our status. And are there losses in our life? People taken from us during the last year? Are opportunities we have missed? Very likely. But none of these things negate who God made us to be. So if we claim on this first day of the new year who we are, a child of God, the God who made us, we can look forward believing in our own goodness, in God's presence with us in 2021. And it can be a good year for all of us. So I just encourage parents uh, to bless their children, um, to remind them that they are good, that they are the children of God, and that you love them. And isn't that a wonderful custom to start in our own locality of returning home and asking for our parents' blessings. So may the blessings of God be with all of you and know that God loves you and takes delight in you. And once again, we pray the Nicene Creed that really tells us what this season of Christmas is all about. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. And on this first day, we pause to make our prayers known to our loving God. God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God of your peace, who lead and guide the church of Christ. For loving care, we pray to you, O God. God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God of your people, hear our prayer. For those who go of the earth that wisdom reign we pray to you O God God ever faithful God ever merciful 
merciful, God of your people, hear our prayer. For those who seek and serve the common good, that justice reign, we pray to you, O God, God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God of your people, hear our prayer. For neighbors' needs, for shelter from the storm, for homes of peace, we pray to you, O God. God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God of your people, hear our prayer. For all the sick, the dying and the dead, be life and grace, we pray to you, O God. God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God of your people, hear our prayer. And trusting all we are into your hands, we call your name and pray to you, O God, God ever faithful, God ever merciful, God of your people, hear our Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with each one of us and to accept the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And sisters and brothers, let us pray that our Eucharist on this Feast of Mary at the beginning of the new year will be acceptable to God, the Almighty and Holy One. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Holy God, we celebrate at this season the beginning of our salvation. On this feast of Mary, Mother of God, we ask that our salvation will be brought to its fulfillment. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. All powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate this feast in honor of Mary, Mother of God. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, 
she became the virgin mother of your only son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is forever the light of the world. And through Christ, the choirs of angels and all the powers of heaven praise and worship your glory. May our voices blend with theirs as we join in their unending hymn. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come down on these gifts to make them holy, that they will become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted for your people, Jesus, while at supper, took bread and said the blessing. And he broke the bread and he gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When the supper was ended, Jesus took the cup filled with wine. Again, he gave you praise and thanks. And he gave the cup to them saying, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. This blood will be shed for you and for all so that sin may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying you destroyed our death Rising, you restored our life. We proclaim this mystery, Lord. Come again in glory. Gloria in excelsis In memory of the death and the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we offer you, most loving God, this life-giving bread, this saving cup, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be your daughters and sons, your beloved children. May all of us who share in the body and the blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church and all your people spread throughout this world and make us grow in charity and justice together with Francis, the Bishop of Rome, and Bernard, our local bishop, and all the baptized. 
And on this New Year's Day, we pray for our family members, for parents and grandparents, uncles and aunts, spouses and children, cousins and friends. Bless them and all your people. And we pause to remember our loved ones who have died, especially the members of our faith communities, family members and friends, and those who have died alone, unloved. Bring them and all the departed into the joy of the resurrection. And we pray for ourselves that we too will share the gift of eternal life together with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and with all those who have done your will throughout the ages. And may we always praise you and give you glory through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Christ with Christ and in Christ, in union with the Spirit, all praise be yours, Almighty, forever. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Dei. the children of God, and so we are heirs, and we pray to God the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And today and throughout this new year, may the peace and blessing of God be with all of you. And with your spirit. You probably can hug each other at home and uh, give each other a sign of peace.
by the power of the Spirit, this bread and wine is sacred and holy. It is the life of Jesus Christ, the risen one, who is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, whose love for us is constant. And happy are we who are invited to this sacred meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Holy God, as we proclaim the Virgin Mary to be the mother of Christ and the mother of the church, may our communion with her son bring us salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Lord, we pray for your people who believe in you who search for you. May they enjoy the gift of your love. We pray this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and yours throughout this year, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our Eucharist is ended and we have communion after this Mass if you drive through. Uh, there will be communion distribution until about 11.20, 11.30. The Lord be with you. 
and and with your your did I already say that? It's okay. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Shines forth in the Bethlehem skies. See, all heaven has come to proclaim it. Hear how their song of joy arises. Love, love, born unto you a Savior. Love, love, glory to God on high. Love is born, come share in the wonder. Love God now asleep in the hay. See the glow in the eyes of his mother. What is the name her heart is saying? Love, love, born is the name she whispers. Love, love, Jesus Emmanuel. Love has come and never will leave us. Love is life everlasting and free. Love is Jesus within and among us. Love is the peace our hearts are seeking. Love, love, love is the gift of Christmas. Love, love, glory to God.